Why is the old back header? It's off the bar, and it's wide. Well, Mason came in, hoping to capitalise on the save from Andrew Marriott, but that certainly is a letter for Exxon. Durkin, looking for Gary Bennett. Great chance for Gary Bennett, his first touch lets him down. But Gary Bennett, if Ipswich have had two chances, Gary Bennett has had two excellent opportunities himself. Excellent pass in from Durkin. Gary Bennett just couldn't control. And the opportunity was lost as Clive Baker made the save. Connolly tries to get away from Thompson, does so. Finds Gary Bennett, not offside. In the middle is Hughes, gets the ball across. They've all missed it. Excellent move by Rexham. Best of the game so far, started by Carl Connolly. So what the options were, strong run by Gary Bennett. Plenty of choices in the middle and they all just missed it Brian Humes, Hughes rather threw himself at the ball Hughes to Bennett now Bennett will try to get behind Whelan and he gets it away from Whelan defender may be a bit too casual Bennett goes one way goes the other drives the ball across same way Baker went for goal himself to Gary Bennett excellent play by Bennett showing all the qualities which make him a feared striker in the lower divisions. Marriott well out of his goal. And finds Gareth Owen. Owen looking for Connolly. Connolly. Ipswich defenders just stood off for a second. Connolly to cross. Cross to Durkin. Durkin on the volley. Oh, a brilliant goal by Kieran Durkin. Absolutely superb volley. Baker had no chance. Than a quarter of an hour into the second half, Wrexham take the lead with a move of quality. The ball was played out wide, seems to have been overhit by Connolly. Excellent cross by Jonathan Cross, and what a volley from Durkin. Baker had no chance. Marietz comes, punches, half clears. Gareth Owen can't get it away. Still danger. Kuomia comes. Again, Marriott punches. Johnson. Again towards Kuomia. Header down. Off the line by Barry Hunter. Away. Back in by Paz. Kuomia. Again, the tackle comes in. Kuomia is there. It's out for the corner. Real drama here at the race course. Six minutes to go. Linigan is up. They're all either in the penalty area or on the side of the penalty area. And it comes in, and it's an equaliser. Linigan gets the header and gives Ipswich Town the equaliser and maybe has kept them in the FA Cup. As the ball came across, Linigan got up above everyone else and headed firmly downwards. And Andrew Marriott, desperately, as he tried to get to the ball, just couldn't get there. Well, against Arsenal, Wrexham scored late to equalise and win the game. The boot is on the other foot this afternoon. Humes towards Connolly. Connolly, down the goal, penalty! Carl Connolly controlled the ball, but has been fouled by Tanner and Jim Rushton has given a penalty. Gary Bennett has already scored eight times from the penalty spot this season. Bennett, and it's there! Gary Bennett, what drama indeed here at the race course. Baker seems to have saved the ball, but Gary Bennett placed it wide of him. And Bennett's ninth penalty goal of the season could well have taken Wrexham through to the fourth round, just when it seemed that Ipswich had saved this tie. Johnson had a goal once off the bar. How on earth that didn't go in from Paz? I don't know, and I'm sure Andy Marriott doesn't know, and I'm sure no one in the ground can tell you. There's a chance here now for Wrexham to seal it. Carl Connolly coming back 
for the third goal maybe Connolly looking for support Connolly over the bar he'd have preferred a goal but he won't mind while the ball is in the cup behind Clay Baker's goal but Carl Connolly maybe just didn't have the pace didn't have the legs certainly didn't have the support to score a third and that's it memorable victory for Wrexham scenes of sheer jubilation Gary Bennett the hero the goal scorer with a penalty three minutes from the end of normal time and Ipswich Town whose season goes from bad to worse now have to look to the Premiership for survival but Wrexham well, three seasons ago it was Arsenal they've enjoyed victories over the likes of Newcastle and Southampton in the past and this day you'll go down again in the history of Wrexham Football Club as a memorable victory they beat the Premiership side Ipswich but we'll look at the opportunities at the end of the game when they hit the bar twice especially at the end from Paz when Marriott saved but as far as Wrexham are concerned they don't care because they go into the fourth round draw. Yeah, it was a classic game. I mean, in many ways, I think it surpassed the Arsenal game because the, the, the sort of cup tie that it was, it, it had everything. Um, gold mouth action, chances, good football by both sides. Um, it, it, it had the lot, and I don't think there'll be many better games here at the race course. I haven't seen a, a game like that in a long, long time. Yes, I should think the last six minutes would be incredible by anyone's standard. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like 60, I suppose, when we did get the second goal. Um, they put a lot of pressure on us. Um, we were getting bodies in. Uh, we had to get bodies in front of the ball. And uh, when the whistle went, uh, well, uh, the satisfaction for the players is, was overwhelming, really. They, they've earned it. They've earned all the praise because they've done it. And uh, we've got to, we just want anybody at home now, any Premier League club at all.